welcome everyone, I am the Zember89, and today we're playing a nice little game called I Get This Call Every Day. It's based loosely on working at a customer service call center job type experience. So I'm sure some of you might get this call every day. I have personally never worked in a call center thing, so this should be fun, although I get the impression that you can never win at this game. Um, let's start with a terse greeting. How can I help you? How can uh, I help yeah. you? Yeah. Hi. I need to change my address. I need to change my address. Well, you need to give me your SIN number. Can I get your SIN, please? My what? Your social insurance number. Are you That's stupid? Private. Why should I give that to you? Well, I need it to look up your account. I'm only changing my address. Yes, but in order to do that, I need to pull up your account. It's 111-22211. Thank you. That appears to be incorrect, sir or madam. You have a lovely smile. Uh, nope. Nope. What do you mean, nope? I mean, nope. Nope, that's not your sin. I'm pretty sure I know my own sin number, buddy. Uh, I'm not your buddy, buddy. I'm not your buddy, sir. Excuse me? Nothing. Listen, I pay my taxes, and I don't have to put up with this fucking shit. I want to speak to your manager now. Okay, sure. I just need to put you on hold while I see if my supervisor's available. Yeah, just wait for, like, two hours. Prick. Yes. New message from boss. I'm, I'm not taking another escalated call from you. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Fired! Okay, let's try that again. And this time maybe we'll be a little bit nicer. God, I am so bad at talking to people in real life. Honestly, I could never do this kind of job. I would just start swearing at them all the time. Standard greeting. Hello, General Inquiries. My name is David. How can I help you today? Hi. Uh, yeah, hi. I need to change my address. Well, because of security reasons, I need to get your personal information. Smile. Sure thing. Now, in order to change your address, I just need to ask some brief security questions. Can I start by getting your social insurance number, please? It's 111-22211. Thank you. Yep, that's not correct. And, my god, you must have been among the first people ever born. Nice SIN number. It, I'm sorry, sir. That number is unfortunately invalid. I'm afraid that's not a valid social insurance number. Could you double check the number, please? Fine, let me get my wallet. It's 1112233. Thank you. Oh. Okay, it's a totally different number. Um Can I get your address since I mentioned it before? Sir. Smile. Can I have the address that's currently on your file? 1137 East 25th Avenue. Uh, what city and province is that? Alberta. What city in Alberta? Calgary. I'm sorry, that doesn't match the address that we currently have on file. Is that your new address? Yes, you said you wanted the current address. Okay, I'm actually looking for the address that we have on your file. It's probably your last address. Is it in Coquitlam? Uh... I'm not sure, but yes. Yes, it is. Is it the one on Birch Street? Yes. Yes. Fine. Try 50 Birch. Close enough. Thank you. Uh, please bear with me, sir. I'm experiencing a bit of technical difficulty. Oh. I just have to place you on a very brief hold. No, no. Did we do something wrong? Yes. Fuck. I was just listening to your call. You broke confidentiality. Sorry. Oh, Fuck. Shit. Holy shit, it's hard to run customer service. Fucking hell! You get fired in like five minutes! Standard greeting, hi. Uh, I'm Zen. Uh, how may Hello, I help General you? General Inquiries. My name is David. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah. Hi. I need to change my address. Hi. Security, it's... tell me... Sure thing. Now, in order to change your address, I just need to ask some brief security questions. Can I start by getting your social insurance number, please? It's 111 Thank you. 
Nope, that's not invalid. That's that is invalid actually. But it's just give me the right one. Let me guess it. It's one 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 two 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 three three. Mm, I'm afraid that's not a valid social insurance number. Could you double check the number, please? Fine. Let me get my wallet. You should have gotten your wallet before. It's one 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 two 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 three three. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. You've been a great, great help to this community. What's your address? What's your date of birth? Can I have your date of birth, please? November 10th. Okay. Why is that close enough? He said November 10th. What year? And what year was that? 1991. Thank you. You're a bit young. Wow, you're young. Excuse me? Nothing, sir. <laughs> that might have been a, a personal add-on. Um, can you tell me your full name, please? Can I have your full name? Bill. I'm sorry, is that your full name? Yes. I'm afraid that does not qualify as a full name. You retarded is a person. You're gorgeous. Are you a man or a woman? I cannot fucking tell. I need your first and your last name. Well, why didn't you say so? My full name is Billy Swarth. F okay, close enough. Thank you. Your address. Can I have the address that's currently on your file? 1137 East 25th Avenue. Uh, what city and province is that? Alberta. What city in Alberta? Calgary. I'm sorry, that doesn't match the address that we currently have on file. Is that your new address? Yes, you said you wanted the current address. Okay, I'm actually looking for the address that we have on your file. It's probably your last address. Is it in Coquitlam? Yes. Uh, oh, I can't. Well, these are security questions. I'm not supposed to disclose any information from your file. Fine, try 50 Birch. Give me your full address. If I get another fucking strike for this, I will be pretty mad. I need the full mailing address. 50 Birch Street. What city and province is that? BC. What city in BC? Coquitlam. Was there any apartment or box number? Box 7. Thank you. So, we just need to go through some additional security questions in order to change your address. What do you mean? I've given you my name, my address, my sin? I'm me, buddy. I don't know. But it's the law, buddy. I understand that, sir, but the law requires that we go through strict security <coughs> questions to protect your account. Whatever. Um, hmm. Representatives. Would that be his parents or something, because he's young? Um... Details of last payment. No. No... Could you tell me the name of any representatives on your file? What? Uh, repeating is not gonna help, I imagine. So, let's explain to him, and to me, what that means. What I mean is, have you had anyone do your income taxes for you in the past? No, I do my taxes myself. Are you sure? Are you sure? Sure as I can remember. Fine, we'll try another security question then. Alright. What about details of last payment? Have you made any payments to us recently? I think so. How much did you pay and on what date? Uh, $50? And when did you make the payment? Sometime last month, I think. It, hmm, it doesn't really match, does it? I'm sorry, that doesn't match anything that we have on your file. <laughs> Alright, so how much did I pay then? <sighs> Sir, these are security questions. So? Receipt. Would you have a record of the payment, like a receipt or a bank statement? I don't keep those sorts of things. Not even an online statement? What do you mean? Do you do any of your banking online? If you do, you could log into your bank account and check the transaction history. My mom handles that kind of stuff for me. Okay, let's try something else, because you are an idiot. Let's try something else. What about your... June? Seeing that he's so young, he might have the same previous dress. Hmm. Lead-in question. Do you have a copy of your recent tax information? You mean, like, a copy of my taxes? Yeah. No, I threw that out. Well, you shouldn't. God. Young people these days, honestly. Uh, you're supposed to keep that, dude. 
you realize you're supposed to keep documents like that for up to six years, right? No, I didn't know that. Why is that? In case we or any other agency asks to review it. Why would anyone do that? I'm honest, I pay my taxes. Um, back on topic, please. What was your net income last year? My what? Your net income. Is that how much I made? Yes, that is essentially your net income. I don't know, I think I made about 10000 last year. And, by the way, welcome to the wonderful, wonderful Canadian accent. It is wonderful. Um... Well, we should definitely probe further. That's what she said. Did you have more than one source of income last year? No, I only worked the one job. And you're sure that you only made 10000 last year? Maybe I made 20. I'm not sure. You kind of made almost 30. I'm sorry, but to get through this security question, we need your net income within $2 of the value that you reported on your taxes. Yeah, so? So, the number you gave me isn't even close. Let's try something else. Where did you previously live? Other than the addresses you've already <clears throat> provided, can you tell me two prior addresses you've ever had on your account? 50 Birch. You already gave me that address. I'm looking for two prior addresses. 50 Birch is my prior address. Right, but we haven't changed the address yet. Can we do that? We can, once we get through security. Okay, so what do you need? Two prior addresses. Prior to 50 Birch? Yes. Yes, please. Oh, well, I used to live in Saskatoon. Okay. And? Uh, Saskatoon. Okay. And? And? And Vancouver. <clears throat> okay. OMG! I can't say that. I need a full mailing address. Uh, 12 Regina Road, Saskatoon. That doesn't match anything that I have on file. Is that the only place you lived in Saskatoon? Yep. 12 Vagina Street? Uh, try another. Any other addresses we would have? Nope. None other? Uh, keep in mind, we'd have every address you've ever given us, like your first address, maybe your parents' address. Oh, well, I grew up in Vancouver. Would you have filed your first tax return while you were there? Probably. Great. Do you remember the address? 750-something. Oh, I need a full mailing address. Listen, do you remember the addresses of every place you've ever lived? Yes. But let's explain it to this fucking jerk why it's important. We obviously don't expect you to remember everything off the top of your head. Uh, we do need to go through strict security questions, though, to allow an address change. Well, I don't remember any of the other addresses. Can you ask me something else? Sure, let's see what else we can go through. Uh, well, we've gone through all the security questions we can go through, and you weren't able to provide enough correct answers. What do you mean? I gave you my name, my sin, my address. What more do you want? I want the correct information, sir. Oh, those pieces of information were just the core security questions. They're the basic ones that always need to be answered. But to change your address, we need to go through stricter security questions in addition to those basic ones. Come on, buddy. I can give you anything else. We've already gone through every question that we can go through. I can tell you my mother's maiden name. It doesn't fucking matter. And I really don't care, but... Uh, I want to be... I want to be good at my job. Uh, we don't have that information on file. Really? Why not? Is it missing? No, we just don't collect that kind of information. Oh, everyone else does. What about my last employer? I can tell you who I worked for last year. Um, I still don't fucking care, but it's not enough security. Your employer's name is a security question, but not one that we can use to change your address. <clears throat> Wait, is there a lower level of security? Yes. Can we go through that instead? We could, but I would only be able to give you information about your account. I wouldn't be able to change your address. Could you try? No, it, it's not a system that prevents me from changing your address. It's the law. Come on, buddy. Buddy, I'm not your buddy. And stop making me try to break the law. I want to keep working here. I have a stable job, goddammit, and I have to pay the rent. And this is the law. Sir, these are security questions that are required by law.
if I don't uphold them, it's not just my job on the line. I could do jail time. Come on, man. Be cool. Sir, no. You've basically got two options left if you want to change your address. Either call us back when you have some more information or make your request in writing. <sighs> okay, fine. Would you like the address to send your written request to? No, whatever. I'll just call back. No problem. Thanks for calling, sir. Have a nice day. Fucking asshole. I'm still here, man. Sir, I'm still on the line. Shit. I think we won! We won against this person, yes! I don't feel victorious at all. At fucking all. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what a what a horrible job. I Thank you for watching guys. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go kill myself. <laughs>